Hey y'all, today we're making tofu with shiitake mushrooms. Just look at how gorgeous that is. We are making a braised tofu stir fry with whole dried shiitake mushrooms. Let's start with our ingredients. I've got a package of organic extra firm tofu. I have some liquid aminos or you can use coconut aminos if you like. We have one package of dried shiitake mushrooms. We're gonna use a little bit of cornstarch to thicken our sauce. And you all know I love my toasted sesame oil. So these are the mushrooms we're gonna be using. These are dried whole shiitake mushrooms. And last week for the video that we did of the string beans with shiitake mushrooms, we used sliced slivered shiitakes. Today we're gonna use whole ones because they add a very, very meaty texture to the dish. And it's just gonna make the recipe awesome. I, I cannot wait to show you. Okay, so I've taken out about two cups of the dried whole shiitake mushrooms, not the sliver. I am going to wash them really good and then I'm going to cover them in water and let them sit for roughly four to five hours so they can rehydrate. So I just rinsed off the mushrooms and now I'm gonna soak them in about two cups of warm water, basically just covering them with water. They have a very, very chewy taste to them. That's why vegans and vegetarians love them so much. But since they're so chewy, they need to actually soak for a while. So these are gonna soak for about four to five hours. The next step is we are going to get the tofu ready. I have one block of extra firm tofu. I am going to slice this tofu up and slice it into triangles so that I can get ready to deep fry it so that it can braise with the other liquids for the stir fry. So the tofu is sliced into triangles and right next to it, I have a bowl. The bowl has one cup of liquid aminos or you can use coconut aminos if that's your thing and i'm going to get ready to add some water to it the bowl of marinade is for the tofu we're going to allow the tofu to sit and marinate so that when we get ready to deep fry it it has a nice good flavor to it now we're going to let the tofu sit in the marinade for a good 30 minutes to an hour so I got my tofu deep frying, and this is right around the consistency that I want the tofu to be. I want it a little bit brown on the outside, on the edges, uh, a little bit uh, tough and firm. And then we're gonna take the tofu, and we're gonna sit it in the pan, and we're gonna allow it to braise in the sauce we're getting ready to make next. So let's get ready to start on the sauce. To make our sauce, I am going in with two cups of vegetable stock. I also added one fourth cup of soy sauce. I added one fourth cup of sesame seed oil. And now I'm going in with two tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken the sauce. And this is gonna make a really good sauce, you guys. And you can feel free to put garlic powder, onion powder in here if you like. So we're just gonna whisk her up really good so we can pour her over the stir fry. Now I'm sauteing one half of a red bell pepper. I am now adding one half of a sweet white onion along with the red pepper, and we're gonna just saute both of these together. Now I'm gonna continue to cook the peppers and onions. I like using a sweet white onion. I like the uh, flavor that it gives. I don't really care for a yellow onion. So I'm gonna just cook these two down, and then we're gonna get ready now to add the tofu that we fried earlier. We're gonna add this into the skillet, and it's about to be on. Continue to stir her around really good. And now remember guys, you can add a little bit of fresh garlic or ginger to this. If you like, you can even add some garlic and ginger paste. I like garlic and ginger paste because I like the two combined together. Something about uh, having them combined together, it uh, brings out the potency in both. And I like the Lakshmi brand. That's a good brand of garlic ginger paste. So I am uh, getting ready to go in now with the mushrooms. We're gonna add the mushrooms and I strained these really good. I took my hands and I pulled out all of the excess moisture and the mushrooms. These are so freaking good. And so uh, one thing to mention is that ideally you would take a small knife and take the, uh, the uh, stem off of the mushroom. I forgot to do so because I was in a little bit of a rush to do the video. I'm a little bit behind on some of my videos. So I was in a bit of a rush. But ideally, after soaking them, you would take your knife and then you would go in and you would take off the stem. The stem is kind of chewy and so it's a little bit rough. You don't really want that. Some companies take the stem and then they make a vegan beef jerky out of it, actually. They add a little bit of liquid smoke, things like that, to give it a, uh, make it into a jerky. Now let's pour that delicious sauce we made earlier 
right onto the stir fry and allow it to thicken up a little bit. And you can add a little bit of white pepper to this if you want to as well. Now we continue to stir her up really good. I want all the vegetables, the tofu, the shiitake mushrooms to get well incorporated with the sauce. I really wanna make sure that I'm getting the cornstarch in there so that the sauce can thicken up really good. So we're just gonna continue to stir this around. Let it get nice and thick. Oh my God, this is gonna be so, so good. I can't wait. And another thing too, you guys, if you want, you can add some fresh broccoli to this. It does not have to be a red bell pepper. You can go in with a yellow bell pepper if you like. You can take some carrot slices and add this to this. This is your stir fry. You do it how you like. I just wanted to show you all how to use the whole dried shiitake mushrooms. A lot of times um, the, the newer vegans are using uh, sh regular shiitakes or they'll use a lot of oyster mushrooms, but I don't really see anybody using dried shiitakes you'll love these so much better than the oyster or even the whole shiitake because the or excuse me the raw shiitake because the dry shiitake again has a very very meaty meaty chewy taste to it right and not only that the dry shiitake imparts a whole lot of umami flavor it makes the whole dish very savory and just look at how uh the the sauce is thickening up this is an excellent excellent stir fry that you guys can make you can make this ahead of time you can put it into your meal prep if you like, and you're just gonna really enjoy these uh, whole shiitakes. Something else that you can do is make a soup out of this. I used to know a lady who made a mushroom soup where she took various different mushrooms, uh, and maybe even chicken of the woods, I think she put in there, and she would take the uh, whole shiitakes just like this, and some slivers, and it was just an amazing, amazing soup. But she didn't wanna give out her recipe, and I understood. So again, uh, these mushrooms are uh, really good, very chewy. And again, ideally you would take the uh, stem off. I was just in a rush to herb and get the video prepared for you guys. And just look at how gorgeous this is. Look how everything is coming together. We got the tofu, we got the sweet onion, we got my bell peppers, we got these whole shiitake mushrooms. I mean, what else can you ask for? This is just delicious. And here we have it, delicious braised tofu with whole dried shiitake mushrooms. Please like and subscribe and put on your notifications. We got some really, really good recipes coming out just in time for the holidays. I can't wait. Love you guys.